Okay. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're gonna be drawing. You already know. You already know. Wolverine, baby. What? What he say? What he say? He say. Let's hear it, bub. What was the line? What was the line? There's a lot of things in what I do. And what I do is it very nice. <laughs> but now, nah, get back in a few seconds and we'll get started. If you want to have access to my private sketchbook, worksheets, and more dope stuff, be sure to check out my Patreon in the link below. So, right now, we're going to go ahead and start off drawing the cranium. So, we'll draw a circle to kind of indicate the cranium of the head. Uh, go ahead, draw the chin a little bit. We'll get the ear in. Work on his traps. I want to make him kind of slouch. So them traps, they go be out there showing. Get the shoulder. Then work on the back of the head, down to the nose. Get that guy line. Lines up to the ear. Uh, get that neck muscle in. Now, right now this is just a rough so I'm just basically getting loose with it I ain't really caring about making it perfect just being loose uh, and kind of sculpt the um, the character and so I got the chest the shoulders now we go work on the eyes the nose then we go work on his cow Then we'll work on his bottom lip a little bit. I want to make him kind of like growling. Let's go. It's Wolverine at the end of the day. You know, you know he'd be rough. And um, make sure you have reference when it comes to drawing. That's really important. You can't be drawing with without a reference. That should be like a number one. So we go draw his teeth in. Then. So it's upper lip. Now I'm gonna go ahead get his head and eyebrows in real quick. So I'll start the chin. Make like his little wings. I don't know what they call this on his head. I just call them ear like bad ears because it's pretty much the same thing as Batman ears. But we ain't gonna talk about that because DC suck. <clears throat> but anywho, um, back to the drawing. Uh, so I'm tweaking his bottom lip a little bit to kind of make make it make sense. Uh, when it comes when I when it comes to me drawing, I try my best to be accurate with my characters. It's a it's a it's just a habit to be honest, cause I I just my fear is just having people talk about my work. Well. I take that back. It just I don't I don't know. I just like to be perfect. <laughs> I guess. Let me stop making excuses. Um. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the shadows around his eyes. Um. Just to get the shading. I had the light kind of coming down from the back of his head. Usually I'll draw an arrow, but I didn't. I'm making the line darker where the shadow is going to be like where the darker shadow is going to be so to kind of give it that illusion that it's like popping off the screen i'm gonna add shadows on his nose and his teeth and then work on his chin tweak his ears a little bit uh, then after that i'm gonna start working with the actual shadows so I'm gonna make my lines to kind of show where the shadows are then clean up the shading a little bit and then uh then from here uh I'm gonna go ahead and add like some hatches around his cheek like his cheek muscles 
and then under his like I don't know what's that muscle that's under his lip uh, but we ain't gonna talk about that we we'll go ahead add the hatches for this little hairs coming out of his chin because you know the man still not know how to take care of himself and shave but you know it's Wolverine he pretty much a beast um just darken the shadows in some areas the trick here is to make the lines darker where the shadows are that what really makes the character pop uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and add shadows under his chin where his Adam's apple was at then add some rendering here and there uh, add a rendering, uh, rendering for the neck muscle kind of soften the shading a little bit now I'm going to work on this like little shoulder pads uh, shoulder pads pretty simple just a nice little round circle thing and then add the detail of his costume I'm going to go ahead and add the collarbone then once you get that down I'm gonna go ahead and um, shade in the trap muscle. Just simple shading. Um, I'm making the design of that triangle part on his shoulder, making that bit darker to kind of make it seem like it's a darker color. So, making that a little bit darker. I'm gonna add a little bit of rendering on his shoulder pad just to give it like a little shine to it then um, I'm gonna go ahead do some rendering for his chin muscle and then around his ear then of course make the lines darker then I'm gonna do some shading on the ear design to kind of show that it is shiny so I think that's part that part of his mask is pretty much shiny as well and of course I'm gonna add the other ear on the other side that's further away from us making sure it's a little bit smaller than the one that's closer to us then we go ahead go ahead and render the ear make it like a little shine that's hitting it because his ear do pop out a little bit in his mask so I'm just gonna add that in there clean it up a little bit and I'm go ahead and add just the regular hatching lines to the background to you know make it make the drawing look more interesting because you never want to draw something with a just a white background that'll, that'll look lame it'll look boring uh, but just add some simple hatching lines I'm darkening the lines to make it pop. Usually, what I do is use the eraser to kind of erase the outline of the drawing, but it helps when you make the lines darker, it gives it a pop as well, especially at the darker areas. As you see, I'm just tweaking my shadows a little bit to make it pop some darker sh shadows where the creases of his muscles the creases of his costume and after that there you go guys Wolverine right, I just want to take this time to say thank you guys for watching me during this process be sure you hit that like button notifications and subscribe till next time y'all Deuces.